That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. Could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think you mean charming and theatrical. Entertaining is another word that comes to mind. Just get up there. The quicker we get this over with, the better. Decisive. I like that in a woman. Just stop. Stop. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! These will be perfect. Clem, look. Try it out. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? 
keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. Do not fuck with me. I'm not here to fuck with you. I'm here to get some food. Same as you. Your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. You'll understand if I don't tell you anything. It wasn't really a question. More like confirmation. Outside, I'm thinking maybe more. You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I want to fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. You wouldn't let a hungry man starve now, would you? Kid, I don't want to do this. AJ, get down! <laughs> <laughs> to me Marlon listen to me I am telling you the place was ransacked it's fine we'll deal with it took y'all a while how poor are they that have not patience a Sam Mitch check it out food that's like a lot of food observant as ever Mitch I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. I owed you. You all saved me first. <laughs> Call us even, then. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, 
But we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. It took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God, nothing's easy. No one died. You don't have to worry. I always do, though. Can't help it. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Glenn. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Gertie's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. You've been in here too long. When you see more death, you'll be a lot more afraid of it. Or maybe a lot less. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. I don't think there's anything after we die. Just darkness. There might be. You don't know. Nobody knows. But if there is, I think it'd be like this. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. 
You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games, and the walls make it feel safe. I like it, but I'm not sure if I trust everyone. It's hard to trust people sometimes. Do you trust me? Always. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. That's cool. I know, right? Like, really cool. So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. the other one more. Why is that? It's scarier. That makes it cooler. There. You have to water flowers. Not these. They're fake. So they never die? Never. Well, lucky flowers. But they're not as pretty. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
there's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. another entrance to the basement around here. Sleep. You deserve some shut eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station. We got history. Rody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed said, of what... Shut up! Ah! Shit! What if 
have you done? So, 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 so. You're gonna be okay. I, I promise you. God damn it! Help! Did you say it? I told you not to say it! You, you hit her too hard. She's not gonna make it. Shut up! Come on, Brody, we can fix this. Please, you're gonna be okay. Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? A first aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about driving up into the mountains, where you could see everything. Clouds. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Don't worry about that now. Just, just try not to move. You're a good person, Clem. I would have liked to get to know you better. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> it in there and lift up the latch. work. Put the gun down. Get this fucking 
just gonna come along and take it. I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. But you have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. I guess you never will. Let her get in your head. Hey, what did he want you to do? She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. If you were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you, too. being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun, now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all. Do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> All of you! Every fucking one of you! How is pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expensive. Your dick told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. 
A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I wanted to get them. Staves, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. I didn't want to hurt them. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Fine. Saved one for me. Sometimes.